Okay, this is my new favorite champion. I was, uh, I need to start streaming. Oh well, I'm gonna record this video right now, and, uh, because this is freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here on the test server. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys being here, and I am super pumped for this video because guys we have my new favorite champion i literally cannot believe this guy i cannot believe this guy this is gonna be an incredible champion to add to the game i've been saying continuously we need more block buffs champions and i think that this is one of the main things holding people back from being successful in hydra Block buffs champions and provoke champions. We need more of both of those, okay? Plarium, more of both of those. And this guy not only does that, but also does it with enemy max HP in his kit and a ton of buffs for himself. But if you know me, you know I don't like just kit videos. And so when you come to my channel, you're going to see these guys in action. And that's what you can expect from the test server from me. So what else is cool about him? He's going to be healing himself. He has a Hydra specific kit. We need to go back and change this for a bunch of champions, Plarium. A bunch of champions need changes exactly like this, specifically for Hydra. And then that will unlock the content and help people progress. And then guess what? They're going to spend money or resources to get these better champions to continually improve. Anyway, that's just my two cents. Also, we have an AoE A1 that doesn't trigger counterattacks. Uh, speaking of that A3, increase attack, increase accuracy, increase speed, grants an extra turn. That is insane. Actually insane. Uh, I don't want... Him to be the mischief target, so I'm going to include those buffs in my team. However, if you want him to be the mischief target, then you need to build him with resistance as well. That seems like a very difficult build with speed, crit rate, crit damage, accuracy, resistance. I mean, it's just too much. So anyway, he's an attack-based champion, and... He's got pretty low base stats, okay, for for his defensive, uh, like all around, his base stats are not very good, but his kit makes up for it, and I've got him in a sick nine-piece Slayer build here that I am so excited to try out that this makes me want him even more, okay? Now, this is not fully optimized, like I have an accuracy chest on here in order to make the stats work right like my uh amulet is attack not crit damage my banner is attack not crit damage and will that help me hit my max hp like cap yes but also i don't really want to do that but how can i pass up this nine piece slayer chance to repeat the damage dealt by aoe skills how can i pass that up with this ability I can't. I can't pass it up. And his A1 is AoE as well. So I think the perfect set for him is Slayer. And I love this set. I love it. I love everything about it. It's amazing. And if you ever wanted to spend money on this game, I would get the next Forge Pass with Slayer. Player and run it back. Run it back for a third time in a row. Please. We don't need, we don't need the other ones right now. Run the Slayer back for a third time in a row. Okay, who else is going to be in this team? We're going to run Estrid. I encourage you to check out my video from earlier today, showcasing her in a more free-to-play team with that redo damage comparison of her versus Nikmo. We're also going to be showcasing Grazure in here. I know you're not going to be happy about that, but I really wanted an enemy max HP champion to compare to him. Okay, I just need to know. I need to know. We're also going to be including Lady Makage. This is my normal build for her. It's a little bit nice, okay? Uh, but I think that it does not have Relentless right now. Wait, I'm going to go fix that one second. 
Okay, I remember why. I stole her boots for Estrid and didn't think I was going to need it. And as it turns out, I do need it and in the same team, so I can't even take anyway. It's fine. Normal test server stuff. But anyway, Lady Makage is fast, okay? She's got damage. She's got accuracy. She's got resistance. I know that this build might not be accessible for everybody. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying this is my build. Just make her fast with some accuracy. The rest of it is optional, okay? I would prefer fast and accuracy without all of the rest of the stuff, even if you have to remove the relentless, okay? So that's my number one thing. Get block buffs in your team, get provoke in your team, and make your champions faster. That's how you're gonna get more damage, okay? Now for this build. And some initial testing. We're gonna do an actual damage test, because I need to know. Uh, this guy, super disappointing on damage right now. I'm really excited to see how wrong I am about that. But as of right now, I put legit some, some of my best gear on him, okay? And is it just that his attack stat is not high enough? Is that all that it is? Did I not actually put my best gear on him? I don't know. I thought that I did, but... Maybe I'm wrong, you know? I, this guy has just been disappointing, so I I don't know what I need to do here. But I needed this crit damage amulet um, in order to be able to get 100% crit rate. So anyway, that's the champions. Wait, one more. We need my Molly build in here. And she has resistance and accuracy and speed because we're going to be doing Nightmare Hydra. I wanted an endgame showcase for these champions. Before we jump into that, I do want to do an actual damage test like over in, you know, Dragon 20. And we'll throw him in there. We'll do the damage test. We'll test all his abilities. And then I'm going to jump into the Hydra team and the run and showcase all of that. Also, there is one other champion. Let me know. Oh, there's two other champions. I think that this guy might secretly be amazing. And number two, I don't know what you guys think about this guy. Let me know. I, not, the point of this video is neither of those two, but I can test them both out if you want me to. Okay, what do you guys think about this damage setup as just like my new normal? We have Lydia for decreased defense and weaken, and then Shu Zen can come in and give all of the buffs. I mean, I think that that's good. And then we'll have an attack in all battles aura. And then that will be comparable to other damage test videos, right? Okay, so we got the setup here. Let's test his A3 here. Okay, now... This attack is always critical, so you can, just like Ethos, build him with no crit rate, okay? And just stack the crit damage and the attack percentage, and then get crazy stats. He's the wrong affinity here, so we want to make sure that we're looking at the non-weak hits. Uh, you don't see that every day. Okay, that was good. Okay, test number two. Uh, this is going to be his A2, which is that four hitter. I think we would have really liked to do this. Uh, I'll just redo it if I'm if I weak hit here. So let's go like Apothecary. All of the weak hits, but we got 70 and 50. And it did take him out. Okay, Calamitous, we're gonna go stage 19 for his A2 because I want to be able to see the full potential. So I'm going to test that here on the wave, and then I'm also going to test it on the boss and see if we can, you know, get some actual comparison. Okay, cool. So we have this A2, okay? Like 200K, like 50, 50K per hit. I don't, I just don't, I don't know if that's really good enough. And then what about his A1? I mean, see, like the A1, he's getting like 100K, like 90K per hit. 
And then, what? why is he getting so many turns? Am I missing something? How is he getting so many turns? Is it just cycling back and forth? Okay, I mean, that's going to kill there. Two, 220 is ridiculous. So anyway, let's get to the boss. Okay, I slow rolled it to the boss so we have our abilities ready. We're going to see what this does on the boss. Okay, still about 50k per hit. And then what is making him get X? Oh, grants an extra turn if this attack kills an enemy. I love that. What does it do here? I mean, his A1 seems way better than his A2. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Please, just tell me, <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. And then we can uh, see the AoE here. 219. That's amazing. And then let's switch forms and see what else he can do. Okay, let's give him that turn. Switch forms. And then I don't think this other form does good damage. Okay, here's this. Oh, 186. I don't know. Like, it's not, it's not like blowing my mind away. Let's see on the A2. 200k. 200 I mean, it's not bad, but I just don't think, I don't think that this is your new nuker. I mean, that A1 is nice. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see on Hydra. But, um, yeah, I think uh, the transferring buffs. I love his kit. So don't don't let me don't let me say things negative about him. I love his kit. I just don't think we need to build him for Arena. I think we need to build him for Hydra. But if I'm wrong, you know, tell me that I'm wrong. Okay, okay. So earlier today, I posted the video where we corrected the damage test between Nikmo and Estrid. If you want to see that, make sure... No, you want to see that. Make sure you go watch that after you're done with this video. But for today, this is going to be our team composition. Now, I know that you guys are seeing Grazier in here, but he just did exactly what I needed him to do. Um, and also, I really want to see the damage comparison between him and the new guy, okay? So, All right, so before we jump into the Hydra team, I wanted to just show off the changes to his build here. We need accuracy for him to do his kit, but I still have him built with some damage and in Savage. Uh, he's not quite as fast as I would like him, but, uh, and his attack is not as high either, but... I think that this will at least give him some damage, and then he'll be able to do his abilities as well. All right, so here's the team on Nightmare Hydra, and we're going to jump in here. I'm really excited about this team. I think it's going to do baller damage. Like, we have all of the right abilities. We have nice builds on everybody. Like, this is my, you know, normal damage builds on some of my Hydra champions that we're using here. So we're going to be able to see like a really end game showcase and it hopefully is going to be great. Okay. Hopefully it's going to be great. Not sure why he got targeted there instead of Molly, but you know, you can't always have what you want. So anyway, uh, let's go through why all of them are in the team briefly, but what you're going to see is a lot of buffs are going to be up on our champions here. We're going to be able to extend them with Grazier and Lady Mikage. We are going to continuously get more turns and boosted turn meter from the fusion. We're going to get decreased defense and hex from our mythic uh, undead guy. And then our my new favorite champion, who I can't remember his name, the high elf guy, he's going to be doing the crazy damage, I think. I think he is... Acrisia level crazy damage. And I also need to try Acrisia in Slayer gear because I think that this is an incredible boost of damage for people. And look at that on turn eight, we have all of the heads killed on Nightmare Hydra. That does not happen. That does not happen very often. So. Let's go ahead. We'll let this run through. We're going to have like a probably a long fight here. I'm going to go eat breakfast and get ready for work and do all the things. And then I'll be back at you on the damage screen.
Okay, dang. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, Authorion had did double Grazer's damage. Okay, that makes sense because he has a double max HP hitter. Um, but I don't think that the Slayer set made that big of an impact. I don't know. That's very interesting. You know, like Grazer, he has one max HP hit. Interesting. I think uh, Lady Makage needs her masteries changed. I was using her in Sand Devil for a while, so we could get more damage out of her. I think Calamitous did really good damage here as well. 69 million. And a lot of that's coming from the Hex. But this is just a really, really cool setup. If you get this guy, she pairs super well with Calamitous, Estrid, because she does... The decreased speed, she does the weaken, which is important, and then Calamitous is going to be doing the decreased defense and the hex. Uh, Authorian, though, dude, is my new favorite champion. I need this guy. I will be definitely building some teams with him in it and testing that out. Um, what did you think of this team? What did you think of the damage test? And what do you still want to see? I'd love to know. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy, and good luck. Let me know if this helps with your decision-making process around the new champions, as well as the fusion.